When I was 27 years old, I got married. Family life flowed like a calm stream. We lived in a house that was given to us by my wife's father. The house was located next to my wife's parents' house, so we often visited them. My father-in-law worked as a regional manager in a large company. He was often away on business trips or spent time with friends fishing. My mother-in-law did not work she took care of the household. Eleanor closely monitored her appearance, a beautiful woman at the age of 50 with a good figure. Sometimes it seemed to me that she hadn't passed on all her beauty to her daughter. When my mother-in-law was alone, she sometimes invited me to her house. She joked, as it seemed to me, in a somewhat ambiguous way, hinting at intimate moments. She often gave me compliments and showed interest in me as a man. I won't hide that sometimes I imagined scenarios with her, but these were just fantasies. In real life, I would have been scared. One day, my wife went away for a few weeks and abstinence started affecting me. Returning home from playing football, she asked how the game went. I said, great, I managed to score a goal. She replied, how intriguing that sounds, I would like to see how you score goals. Then she invited me to dinner, jokingly saying that she would replace my wife. I replied that it was very convenient for me. She laughed and said she was waiting for me. In the evening, I went to her house. We were alone. My mother-in-law greeted me in a short white dress. My reaction to her charming figure was very strong. I tried to restrain myself and told myself that it was just my imagination. We sat down at the table, had a little wine, and she switched to adult topics. She asked if I liked her dress. I said yes, it highlighted her slim legs very well. She asked me to make sure of that and place my hand on her leg. As a result of all these actions, we quickly moved to the bedroom and spent a wonderful night. She kept repeating the phrase, score a goal for me. I felt very ashamed in the morning. It seemed that she sensed it and she said she knew about my mixed feelings. And she told me that she wasn't my wife's biological mother. My wife's mother died when she was two years old. Over time, our relationship developed towards secret meetings and fantasies. Our connection remains a strict secret and we continue to meet from time to time and realize our mutual fantasies.